Uh, all right. I, I will just say this. Um, Patrick Delahenty had that dead to rights from like the first question. It was like piece of Boston history. I'll be hungry for more tonight. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. He and had was- it dead, dead to rights, uh, which is funny because if he wasn't actually in California where I normally do the show, he would probably be here. Uh, and, and would have seen it. And so, uh, all right, uh, Andrew, thank you so, so much for coming on. Uh, I hate to bail on things early, but I, I, I gotta go, uh, stop yelling in my friend's office. So, okay. Uh, Take care. Thank you. Thank yeah, you definitely. everybody. Thanks I love you guys. Me. All right. See you, man. Yes. Hey, by the way, man, the early returns are already in and people are saying that it was a good show. Uh, the interweaving bits, that was a little bit different. Normally we do everything in series, but this time we try to, we try to, Try to do this business. I had a lot of fun. <clears throat> yeah, dude. Uh, you don't have anything to plug. You sounded like you just you you were a little bit kind of like yeah I don't know I do this thing. No, it, it, no. Uh, GFQ. That's about it. GFQ. Uh, GFQ. You plugged away. You plugged in. You plugged in the beginning. You plugged at the night at the end. All right. Is it uh, GFQnetwork.com. GFQ. Network. Oh, you can follow me on Twitter too. Yeah, there you go. At Andrew Zarian. Q Network. I get weird with plugs. I don't know why. I get really uncomfortable. Oh man, you just gotta be like yeah. Let's uh okay. So what are we gonna call this episode? Should it be uh Oh there was Oh there was uh what was I I saw one early on. Oh Zombie Jesus. Yeah, Zombie Jesus is pretty good, but it's zombie Jesus again. Uh yeah, but the problem with zombie Jesus is, <laughs> hey guys, so zombie much. Jesus. <laughs> Zombie Jesus. Z- zombie G- uh Well, the problem is, I don't know. I, I, I'm always allergic to uh, uh, a title that gives away yeah. one of the bits. Dead uh, dictators. Dead dictators. <laughs> Just jazzing, baby. Uh, that's not bad. <clears throat> By the way, for... for- the in- entirety that that show was still on, uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force, people said that Frylock was a, a gigantic ripoff of me. <laughs> yes, I totally believe that. Attack of the Divorce Car, <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> Zombie Jesus. Bad chemistry, corp- that's not bad. Bad chemistry. All right, that's, that's what it's going to be. <clears throat> All right. Bad chemistry, episode 145. Wow, we're up to 145. That's amazing. All right. I was young before it's still on. Probably. Can it to probably cost twenty dollars in a taco to make? <clears throat> uh here we go. This is NSFW episode 145, recorded on September 18th, 2012. Bad chemistry. And now you get to do Justin's parts. All right, I can do all that. Uh oh, I, I do need to know what to read on the, the Squarespace thing. Or maybe I'll maybe I'll just have Andrew do that read. I could do a live read. Square what what's the let's see drive? Actually it's it's probably the same one as for frame rate, right? I can just read that one. Yep. <clears throat> All right, I'll just uh open that up. The code's and, different, but Yeah. Bonnie, what's up? Did you did you watch tonight's show? You haven't watched a show in forever. Have a seat, my lady. Here. Talk up, talk, talk in the air. How was it? It was great. I just went and tried to find the t-shirts we bought. Cause remember we, we bought the never forget t-shirts with the little pixelated. Uh, oh, we did. Yeah. Oh my God. Those, uh, uh, yeah, we, we paid some joker $20 for a shirt that was just the moon and I given the middle finger and it just said, never forget. Oh, <laughs> that's hysterical. Bottom, dude. <laughs> I forgot all about that. Yeah. yeah, 13107, never forget. Where are those? I couldn't find them. I guess we packed them away. I was like, oh. oh. It says never forget, and we forgot. But, you know, there <laughs> apparently there's not a lot of places that you can wear a T-shirt where you're flipping somebody off. You know? uh, concerts. Yeah. Queens. Queens. <laughs> but I think this happened, like, I, we're in the new house. No, no, no it was right before. Was, it was one thirty one oh seven. Yeah, which was we were at the old house because we moved into the new house a year later. Right. In two thousand eight. Yeah. But I just remember going. Ah, 
I can't go to any PTA meetings in this t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, you know? <laughs> Amazing. Uh, yeah, no, th- yeah, that that's the image right there, give or take. Unfortunately, on a yeah. t-shirt, it, it looked n- not nearly as cool as like this. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay. So here, let me tell everyone what's up. <clears throat> All right. Well, good night, everybody. I love you, Bonnie. All right, beautiful people, on this episode of NSFW, we are joined by Andrew Zarian from the GFQ Network. We're going to learn what mysterious object Justin is concealing underneath his screen where you can't see him. Who knows what he's doing down there? We're also going to play Don't Get Brodied, and we're going to have an Adobe Nanza, a Photoshop attack of the people. uh, Bart, I I almost got through the whole thing. It was really delightful. Let me do this again. Adrian Brody, Adrian Brody. <clears throat> On this episode of NSFW, we are joined by Andrew Zarian. We're going to play Don't Get Brodied. We're going to find out what secret object Justin has inside his echoey shop that he's sitting there wrapping his arms around like it's some kind of big fat secret that he just hugs and caresses at night. Also, we're going to play Adobe Bonanza. It's all coming up on this episode of NSFW. And what's, oh, I got to read the thing, and then I'll read the thing. Blah, blah, blah. I'm looking at some of these pictures that people put in. It's hysterical. All right, hold on. This episode of NSFW brought to you by the new Squarespace. Squarespace introduces a new content management system, making it faster and easier than ever before to create a high-quality website or blog, plus more than 50 new features, including mobile response designs. For a free trial and 10% off your first purchase, head on over to squarespace.com and use offer code NSFW9. Nine, nine, nine. I did not I did not mention the Brody game. God damn it. All right. I'm sorry, Steven. But when somebody calls us and says that a car just flew through the door in the middle of a show, it's hard to believe. <laughs> Let's try this. Uh all right, one more time. On this episode of NSFW, we are joined by Andrew Zarian. We're going to play Don't Get Brodied, an Adobe Bonanza, and we find out what secret object Justin is hiding just outside of frame. Don't worry. You see it by the end, but you're not going to believe it when you see it. It's a mystery. I ate your grandmother. So here's that. What? Wait, it was it was I. What do you hold on? Let me see. What is this? Oh my gosh, it was the same guy. It was this guy right here. You win nothing because you didn't put your name in the Such corner. a great picture. <laughs> oh my god. It's not bad. Not gonna lie. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. Justin's cat looks miserable. Is that the name in the upper left? Uh, yes, it is. F King 4. Unfortunately, we don't really have any. Do you have two guys from Queen's Mugs? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll send two out. All right. Well, Just hit... give me the info and I'll, and I'll send more out. All right, done and done. You heard it here first, people. That's an amazing Photoshop. Well, I'm always spending some sort of money on this show. That's a... <laughs> Last time I bought a Twit brick. Oh, that's right. Well, certainly two mugs is way cheaper than a Twit brick. <laughs> than a Twit brick. You're coming up in the world, kiddo. Amazing. Uh, all right. Well, look, uh, man, I, I, I think that's all the, all the mojo I got for tonight, man. I think we got to shut things down. It was, a, it was way, way good. I had a lot of fun. I always have fun on the show. Yeah, man, you were so fantastic. You were fantastic. And wait, somebody uh, call in NSFW if, if there's a, allegedly Sky NSFW show. There's somebody who had a story that didn't get to be on the show. Let's just go ahead and throw it in there. If that person wants to call us. Uh, oh, pool show. Man, plus, I'm not going to lie. Uh, oh, I got a huge plug. Th- this is great. Uh, I got to let you guys know 
that tomorrow night, if you guys watched me play uh, Sleeping Dogs with the fine folks over at Spill.com's Loading Bar show, the Loading Bar, then tune in tomorrow. Watch my, my Twitter feed because I believe we're going to have a massive crossover where it'll be me uh, and the Loading Bar on the Revision 3 Games channel, live on YouTube, playing through Borderlands 2. Have you played Borderlands 2? Have you seen... Are, do you play games at all, Andrew? I, I do, and, I, and I'm picking Borderlands 2 up because uh, I just watched the trailer to the game, and like I, I got the, the grip of what it is, and yeah. it seems awesome. It's way good. I'm really, really enjoying it. It's, uh, the soundtrack is completely rad. I think we had one more caller... But I can't call him yet. He's got to call the right line. And we'll see if we can throw that in there. I don't know. We'll see if we got time. Oh, here it comes. I believe we're about to. Oh, my God. Somebody's getting. What was it? The, the Colombian Q-tip. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, my God. Uh, okay. So let me do. Uh, see if I can call this here person. There you go. All right, we'll get this caller on the air. See what happens. A little coda to this evening. Caller, what's up? You got a story for us? I do. I got a story for you. All right. Do you, do you want to remain anonymous or do you want to appear on screen? You know, you could you could put me up later on, maybe. I just want to get the story out there right now. You sure. Know, facts out in the open. Sure. No, make it clear. So, you know, I've been doing this whole interweb thing for a while, and I got a bunch of, you know, bosses and superiors. And, uh, you know, they've been a little worried about me doing stuff that might embarrass the organization, if you know what I'm saying. Sure, sure. No, oh, so, I'm sorry. I, that was an accident. I mean, uh, hold on. I'm clicking on all the wrong buttons now. That's, I'm uh, sorry. Anonymous <laughs> caller. Go ahead. Go ahead. Anonymous <laughs> caller. That's right. That's me. <laughs> anyway, so uh, the last couple of months, uh, I thought I was doing okay. You know, there was a couple of mentions of some sex toys and, you know, a couple other mentions about uh, bodily functions, you know, ski cheating, stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> lots of train, lots of fun, a little bit of dancing, a lot of gaga, uh, some Gangnam style, and none of that got me into trouble until this morning when I received this phone call saying, uh, basically, uh, yeah, you've just been slapped into, into uh, we'll call it, we'll call it clergy prison, priest prison, right? And uh, it wasn't for any of that. It wasn't for the bodily functions. It wasn't for the sex toys. It wasn't for the dancing. It was because on Twitter, I admitted. That I pee in the shower. No way! Oh no! Yeah, but it only that that embarrasses the organization. Hold well, hold on. You realize? Hold on. Uh, you realize? Wait a minute. So, but you guys better give me that freaking video right now. You guys know what video I want to see right now. I have to show this man something right this minute to to make things right for him. this is a, this is a, this is amazing. Uh. You realize, oh, dang it. Come on, chat room. Make my light my darkest hour right now. There it is. Zoidberg <laughs> has it for me. Look at this. You realize that you save over 12 liters of water per year from what would otherwise be wasted uh, by, by doing exactly She's that. You can save. You can save four thousand three hundred and eighty liters per year. Apparently, this is an advertisement proactively supporting people uh, do, doing exactly what you did. So I, and they're very I, excited in the commercial. And by the way, may I add that there is a man in my profession there. You can tell that. Uh, well, I'll just let it out. There's a priest in that advertising. You can tell <laughs> because one of those uh, the silhouettes has an extraordinarily large dong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
my God, Father Robert, you're the best person who ever lived. Uh, all right, dude, uh, you are amazing. I'm going to shut everything down here. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I love you guys. This is not going to get any better than this moment. I'm shutting it down. Take care. Thank you very much, Andrew. Thank you very much, Father Belisar. You guys are the best. See you, Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. It's time to go and I'm so depressed and I'm gonna spend the rest of the week in bed until the next NSFW. The show is through and it breaks my heart cause I just can't bear to be apart from Brian and Justin of NSFW. Oh, I'd rather die in a fire. Then to spend a single moment without Brian Brushwood Oh, I'd rather be dipped in honey and fed to a big ant pile Than to do without Justin Robert Young for even a little while Oh, NSFW I love you It's like somebody saying they hate pictures of small kittens. No, just they haven't gotten around to looking at the pictures of small kittens yet. <laughs> I never look at pictures of small kittens.